Wait, hang on. It has been a while since I've done this. So yeah, many apologies for taking many months to actually upload another video. Uh, I can't even remember the last time I uploaded. It was probably at the beginning of this year. Uh, I've now finished uni, so that means I have a lot more free time to make things like this. So a few months ago, I bought my first ever film camera and that was the Nikon F3. And since then, I've literally been loving it so much because it's a completely different style of photography that I've never come across before. It really requires you to measure up each shot and make sure that each shot is composed in a way that you like, as you only get a limited number of shots. Um, so yeah, it really requires you to actually think more when taking photos. So yeah, in today's video, I go out with my camera, uh, my film camera, and I go out in the streets of London and just fire out a whole roll of film. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. There's gonna be plenty more to come over the next few months. So yeah, I'm currently getting soaked in rain. But let's just get into the video. Okay guys, welcome back to another video. I say another video. It's been a very long time since I've posted a YouTube video. But today we've got the Nikon F3. Uh, this is a film camera, so I'm gonna be trying something a little bit different today. We're gonna be taking a little walk down the streets of London, uh, as you can see around me here. And yeah, we're just gonna, we're gonna experiment with this because it's quite hard to use, but I'm gonna try my best I'm gonna get some cool shots. So uh, yeah, sit back and uh, I hope you guys enjoy the video. So yeah, I have no idea how this is gonna turn out, but uh, Let's just go shoot and see what happens. Let's see if we can go this guy down over here. Got him. Got him. Yeah, so hopefully that shot comes out quite nicely. Had that guy looking over the uh, that barrier there. Cool shot of that woman who sat there doing her thing. Right, let's set this up. It's gonna be with that here. Huh? Sorry, just one second. No, wait, wait, wait. Oh no! Sorry. Okay. <laughs> what the hell? Alright, let's go again. Bit left if you can. Yeah, there. That'll do. Try and get someone crossing this road here in that little strip of light. Um, let's wind it up. Okay, perfect. Cool. So for anyone wondering, we're shooting on Kodak Gold um, ISO 200. So this is like a really good film roll for like daylight photography, really bright stuff. Um, I'm thinking about getting some other types of film because um, I know there's some, some really cool ones out there. But yeah, if anyone's got any recommendations about what film they want to see me use, please do let me know. Uh, because I'm very keen to try out some new different film rolls. She looks cool actually with a hat. Yeah, this is sick. Famous now. <laughs> oh, that guy in the white. I'm going. Guy in the white. Just spotted a dude over there. Over there in the in the white coat. Let's see if we can get a shot of him before he, he goes off. Oh, mate. <laughs> it was a nice shot. Yeah, it's a really cool shot. Pretty good framing too. Yeah, it's really nice. Where are you going? 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 Where are you Got that 
time, just in time. Just in time. Oh, mate. Get a shot. I just missed him, but uh, I think I got the shot. I fucking hope I did. Okay. Now we just need like a nice frame. I, I would love it if someone was to walk through this frame. Huh? So well, plus three, dude in frame. Oh, uh, boom. Oh, he stands there as well. He's waiting, is it? Oh, well, we got, I got a cool shot. Walk that way a little bit. Oh, train as well, baby. That's great. <laughs> I'm going to try and wait for a cyclist coming down this street now and get a shot when he's in this light here. Looking good. Just, uh, just getting some film camera shots. Like London in general? Yeah, well, the people, pe bikes people I like the bike stuff. <laughs> cool. Something that suits the film sort of vibe, you know. Line up a potential shot here. Take care. Okay, so I'm eyeing up this blue cafe over here. It looks quite cool on the film camera, but the lighting is not the best. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah, the quest continues. Let's see what else we can find. Ah, fuck that up. Fuck that up. I think that one was slightly out of focus. Uh, which is really annoying, but that's just another, that's just the thing with film cameras. I might be able to sharpen it up in post. I really like this arch here. If I can maybe get someone crossing through that arch. If I stand on this side of the road, and we get someone crossing over here, that could be real nice. Yeah, I instantly love this frame. Just got to find the right person crossing at the right time. Think? Oh. That looks sick with those three crossing like that. Especially where the light hit their face. Hmm? Oh, it's a fucking thing, man. Oh, mate, that's a banger. You got it. That's a banger. I the way she looked, yeah. Excuse me. Excuse me. Is it right if I take your portrait with this? It's just a, it's a film camera. I'm just, I like shooting film photos of random people. Is that cool? Where are you gonna, where are you gonna put it? Uh, maybe on my Instagram or YouTube. Is that cool? Um, so yeah, I just like the way you're stood here, just waiting or whatever you're doing. Okay, cool. Well, I'll try and get it done before they come. Ah! So I'm still getting used to this. <laughs> Got it. I got it as you smiled as well. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Trying to get someone over here with that tree. It's lighting up really nicely. Uh. No idea if that shot's going to be too exposed because basically, when the sun hits his face, the exposure will change completely. So I won't know because my exposure was done for the current situation. But as soon as he walked in the frame, that actually changed things a little bit. I'm gonna try and get these, this couple here. Okay, so we've made our way to the Tower Bridge area. Uh, the light's getting a bit more golden now, so that's really gonna come in handy for obviously the Kodak Gold. Quite nice shot of that couple there. I would have definitely liked to change the framing a little bit so that we could have had maybe Tower Bridge in the background because Tower Bridge is really nice and lit at the moment. I might even try and just get a singular shot of Tower Bridge. 
I know we're on the 50 mil, so my, oh, this is, no, this is really nice. Let's try and use a bit of depth here for these trees. Yeah, that could be quite a cool shot. I really like that foreground element. And to be honest, even one with the leaves looks really nice. If there was no people here, or just like a singular person in frame, that would be an absolutely cracking shot. Really? No look. Wasn't bad. We got it, we got it. Let me just get this. Okay, so a few hours have passed now. It's got a little bit darker, so we're really going to be pushing the uh, the film camera stuff. But I just spotted this guy here with the, uh, the drums, and I really want to get a good shot of him. I'll ask him if I can get a shot. Ah, oh, he looked away. Cheers, mate. Cool. Let's go back. Okay, so that was a cool shot. I hope it turned out well. Um, let's keep going. Wait, hang on. I mean, it's not perfect. So last time I came up here, you remember that I didn't like this perspective, so. Sorry. Oh, what are you doing? Well, over in the corner, you can get better stress. The beautiful colours, man. Cool. Alright. Awesome. Okay, so I think that pretty much wraps it up for this video. Um, I ended up doing about 30 exposures, I think, or 29. So hopefully we get a good bunch out of them. As I said, I'm really unsure of what uh, the final product is going to be. Um, but yeah. That was sick and I really want to do more of these so if anyone's got any recommendations of what film to purchase to try out maybe some more low light stuff or something like that okay so I'm not gonna lie I thought like that that went pretty well um, considering it was my first ever roll of film probably like I've done I've used a film camera before but not properly like that out in the streets of London um, so yeah I thought like that went quite well so if you guys did enjoy the video feel free to drop it a like and yeah, as I said throughout the video, do let me know what other types of film you'd like me to use. Um, I have actually, since um, posting this video, purchased some more film, which I'll definitely think about using soon. But yeah, either way guys, I hope you did enjoy the video, uh, and yeah, I'll see you on the next one.